it's a conundrum. They could write and speak eloquently and with insight about liberty and equality, but they seem blind to the fact that their slaves were just as freedom-loving as they themselves. They taught them Christianity, so they understood that their slaves had souls, but they never treated them as fully human. I, I don't think I'll ever understand that. In the late 18th century, you see Jefferson himself grappling with slavery. Uh, Jefferson calls it a moral depravity. Uh, in one instance, late in life, around 1824, he writes that slavery is like having a wolf by the ears, uh, where you see the danger of either holding or letting him go. Jefferson may have fathered up to six children with his slave, Sally Hemings. Jefferson is so closely associated with America and American democracy in this exceptionalist view that many of us have of our country. And that's why people study him, because you can't figure him out. He's always a puzzle. The consensus was A, slavery was wrong, but B, it was gonna die out of its own weight. So the best thing to do because they were not going to be able to get the deep southern states to go along with anything that would threaten slavery was to kick the can down the road and let slavery die out on its own. But the framers can't see down the road. In just five years, an invention will transform the economics of slavery. 